Um, anyway, we'll take you where you don't, if you don't know where you want to go. Uh, 20, no, 1999, Landsat 7 was launched, and the DLR in Munich, they gave us a warning that you will have a tsunami of data. And when Rapid Eye was starting the company, they, we'll drown you in pixels. Well, so you had a warning. Hey, you cannot drown us in pixels. We can't swim. We have actually building boats. So our challenge to deal with enormous amount of, really enormous amount of data on the Earth every day, we can handle it. And it was a quite surprise two years ago when I jumped from 32 bits to 64 bit and using a huge amount of memory. And, and then suddenly you can see, hey, you can process a country, France. You can even count every tree of France if you really want it. And we have the tools to do that. So the, the warning that was given 10 or 15 years ago, prepared for an enormous amount of information on the earth, I think now you can say, yes, we can deal with it and we can show how to deal with it. And that is something that I can say is very different than remote sensing when I started as a second year student. Yeah, thank you. So we come to the problem these days where the baby boomers are approaching retirement. Um, Phyllis Jackson goes with me when I do my field work. She's a botanist. She knows the names of all the plants, uh, the ones that I've forgotten. And um, we are able to do our ground truthing and tie our, the signatures that we're seeing in the imagery to the ground. But she doesn't want to work forever. And there's not so many young people who are actually taking the time to learn the taxonomy. So how can we take that knowledge um, the expert knowledge and encode that into into our algorithms and that's where I find GOB very exciting because it gives a platform to do this. There was a, uh, I wrote a paper in 2010 and I, I uh, well tried to I looked at the, basically looked into the literature and you could see this is a on the y axis simply the number of citations how often a particular paper or some of all papers would be referenced in other publications. And, and so around the year 2003, there's a, a sharp increase in, uh, in, in some recent work. Uh, we look at to, into how often, according to the ISI Web of Knowledge and Google Scholar, some, uh, you may recognize some, some uh, articles here which you know in the, if, according to what Google Scholar always delivers higher, uh, let's see if this, I have a problem with this laser point, we need to have, oh here it is, okay. Uh, so there are some articles which reach around 700 uh, to 800 citations in Google Scholar and between 100 and up to 425 citations in the ISI Web of Knowledge. 